Hello everyone, welcome to voting video number 100 in the incredible Mandela Effect voting video series. Like I said, I'll be coming out with the top five of the 100 voting videos. I'll have a top five video coming out next. So today we're covering automaker Alfa Romero, or is it Alfa Romeo or Alfa Romeo? <laughs> uh, this one's weird for me. I have equal shared memory of both, so it's kind of like, uh, so it's a weird feeling for me. Let me know down below if you remember both like I do. It's always been Alfa Romeo or Romeo in this reality. However, many people remember Alfa Romero. So we're going to go through this. I think this is going to hit a lot of people really hard. It's, like I said, strange for myself. I remember both equally. So here's the history of Italian automobiles, the Italian Tribune, the premier Italian American weekly newspaper since 1931. I would like to introduce our readers to a new feature within the Italian Tribune. Many readers know and appreciate the glamorous automobiles of Italy. Ferrari, Lamborghini, Maserati, and Alfa Romero. There you go right there. Un futuro Alfa Romero Ocho Se podría tener un diseño de lo más llamativo. So this Oscar guy, he remembers Romero. We got this here. L'an prochain, cette avant-première adopte des solutions techniques et stylistiques spécifiques. You may wonder why I'm playing that. Most of you don't understand what they're saying. However, the point is Alfa Romero 4C Spider 2015. This is someone who's interested in the automobile. They're putting the video up from an auto show and they, it's spelled Alfa Romero. Okay, that's the point of that. Now, here we have. Trump automobiles and Mexican trade. So it says here, FCA Mexico manufactures Ram, Jeep, Fiat, Chrysler, Alfa Romero, and Dodge from the FX Street. I found this, thought was interesting. This looks without the stuff in the middle here. You know, we have the serpent eating the human, but is not here. But Alfa Romero, this looks equally... <laughs> Just as fine as the other for me. So this this video really, really bothers me because I, I can't go either way on this one. But please thumb it down if it's always been Alfa Romeo or Romeo. And thumb it up if this is what you remember along with the cross and the uh, crowned serpent eating the human. So here we have Wales Online. This man says, I love my car, 1970 Fiat 500. I don't even know how he gets in there. There must not be a back seat. Uh, so here we have Alfa Romero 166, the worst car. Here we have a man who's restoring a 1966 Porsche, I believe. Nineteen sixty-two Porsche three fifty-six. Now he talks about in his younger days about racing. Later, as a young adult, I started racing cars in both the U.S. and Europe. I raced an Alfa Romero, Shelby Mustang, Austin Mini Cooper. This is from the Community Digest News. And this is the Chicago Tribune. Found this article here. Apologize, I kind of overloaded the old computer here. <laughs> Maybe this year we'll be getting a new one. Uh, let's see. We got the top international brands from Alfa Romero to Volvo. Okay. Moving along, oh my gosh, we've got 13,000 books, everybody. 13,000 books. Here's that 8C, that new one, the Alfa Romero. Here you have, she would sit in the Alfa Romero without a word for Stuart. Powerful Alfa Romero. Why the Alfa Romero? Flashing the Alfa Romero. Uh... It, 
it just goes on and on. Alfa Romero, Audi, BMW, Chevrolet, Dodge, Honda, blah, blah, blah. Tons of books, everybody. I bought an Alfa Romero. Uh, washing his Alfa Romero. <laughs> Pink Alfa Romero. You get the point. There's so many books, Alfa Romero. And there's so many Alfa Romeo. <laughs> A Romeo, Romeo. Uh, let's actually see. Let's take this R out. How many books do we have for Alfa Romeo or Romeo? No books. <laughs> Just kidding. 200,000, which would be expected because that's what it's always been. But you got 13,000 books where it's Alfa Romero. I find that quite interesting. So I wanted to show you YouTube real quick. What's odd about YouTube is... you. <laughs> These people that put Alfa Romero in the title, they're showing you auto shows. They're, they're car people. They're auto network. They're car TV. And <laughs> you'd think they'd know how to spell Alfa Romeo or Romeo, right? So same thing as you go on and on. How many got? We got uh, 49,000 results, Alfa Romero. Uh, car people, you know, let's spell it that way. So at this point of the video, take it into the conspiracy theory part of this whole thing and not so much with the car maker but with this symbol i find it interesting that they have a crowned serpent eating a human for their symbol now, this is an ancient symbol you find serpents all around the planet you got the dragon in china you got the flying serpents in egypt you got quetzalcoatl the flying serpent in Mexico, uh, who you find depicted eating humans. See here you go here. This it's the same. It's the it's the serpent crown serpent, mind you, eating the human being. So years ago, I, I looked into this and studied it because it's, it's such a fascinating thing. And the fact that we have flying serpents in cultures all around the world, I find interesting. Now, here's that one I was just showing you. And here's Quetzalcoatl, the bird serpent. And here's an ancient Irish folklore. You know, you got the serpent eating the human. It's something that's all over the planet. Now, the basilisk is a crowned serpent. So that's what that is on the Alfa Romero, Romeo, whatever, uh, symbol. Now, basilisk and basilica to me, come from the same root. Now, I argued with someone, and they said, oh, Basil St. Peter's Basilica, it, it doesn't have anything to do with basilisk. And I said, well, then why are there crowned serpents, flying crowned serpents inside St. Peter's Basilica? Here's the cross, and this is in the, what's this got to do with the Catholic religion, right? So I'll leave you this with this here. Uh, Jonathan Kleck, years ago, did this drawing here where he shows St. Peter's Basilica looks like a crowned serpent. And it looks like it's got something in the belly here where that, where that ancient Egypt, um, Egyptian, what's that called? The, um, oh man, it's escaping me. Anyway, um, it'll come to me. So something worthy of note here, right here where the window is, where the mouth is, right down here you have a forked walkway, a concrete, like it's forked, like a serpent forked tongue. I don't I don't know everyone. I mean, this is just odd. You get the eyes here, and it, of course, it's been, it's not green actually, but it looks like it could be a serpent head. I don't know. I was raised Catholic, but I'm not afraid to look at anything. I want to know the truth. And I'm not going to use tunnel vision to try and, you know, get through life. I look at a lot of stuff, as I've been telling everybody. I look at lots of stuff, and I just throw it out there. So you got the basilisk, the basilica. I threw this on the end just because of the. Crown serpent eating humans is kind of weird, right? It's kind of an odd symbol to have for a, for a car maker. So I thought I'd throw this other information out at you. You can run with it or you can just ignore it and say, you know, how weird of you, money bags, that you'd be talking like that, whatever. It doesn't matter to me. Um, I want to know why this is like this. And so I look into things like that. And I think everyone should be looking into things like that. And the veil's being lifted, everybody. We're going to be finding out what's going on. The Mandela effect is part of that. So that's it for now. I've done 100 voting videos. There'll be more to come. 